So what brings you on to Omegle today, my man? Uh, just, uh, bored. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a, a good weekend this weekend? Do anything fun? Uh, not really. I live in a, uh, town where it's like nothing to do. Oh, okay. So you live like in a, in a pretty small town. No, I live in a city. Oh, you live in a city? Live, not, not a big city like New York, but it's like, uh, I feel you. I feel you. Usually I ask people on here like what state they're from just to kind of get a, an idea. What state are you from? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Maine. Really? You're from Maine? Dude, I would not have guessed Maine. <laughs> I was thinking like more further south like maybe like uh, maybe Kentucky or Ohio or something. Well, I do have five cowboy hats. <laughs> Could we see one of them? One of your favorite ones? Yeah. Very cool. The main cowboy. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's I have cool. a uh, Jason O'Dean one also. What is that? Jason Odin. Yeah, let's see it. Let's check it out. Never heard of that. Jason Odin. Oh, that's stylish. I kept the tag on it because it's limited edition. What kind of gun? Is it collectible? What got you into cowboy hats? Well, I've been a country fan my whole life. Are your uh, are some of your either of your parents interested in like country music or stuff like that? Some of them. Yeah. <laughs> my, I got it into my grandparents. Oh, I see. Cool. Cool. Did uh, are your grand like are you pretty close to your grandparents right now? Yeah. Nice. So what is life like in Maine? Like what for, you know, like people watching here who have never been, like what is it like there compared, do you think, to other places? Well, it's all right. Some places are better than others. The place I live at is dirty, mm. and people litter everywhere. Have you lived there your whole life? I lived in Maine my whole life, but I was born in Vermont. Oh, lucky. Dude, Vermont is so pretty. I used to, used to go up there. <clears throat> my God, I just... I don't know why I'm so congested. I used to every summer go up to to Vermont with my family for a little getaway. It's just so nice, you know. If you could, my uh, oh, go for it. My uh, my Graham lives in, in Vermont. She's almost ninety. Do you visit her ever? Yeah, we have the chance. Yeah, what are you doing, like, in terms of, uh, like, uh, for money and for survival and stuff these days? Are you in school? Or are you out of school? Uh, I'm not in college yet because of COVID that ruined things. I see. I see. So you graduated this past year, though? Maybe? No, three years ago. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. <clears throat> People say I look younger than I am. I'm 22. I think you look exactly 22. 
I don't think you look younger. What do you think? Well, if I don't have this beard, I look younger. I can see that. I bet you. I bet you if you didn't have the beard, you'd look 18 or something, right? Yeah. I see. So, like, uh, if you could live anywhere, if you could choose anywhere to live, where would you go? Nashville. For the uh, kind of country culture down there? Yeah. But I don't know if they have any acting stuff there. I know it's just basically country music up there, but I want to be an actor. Do you? That's amazing. What what got you into I acting? I was in plays. I don't like being, I like acting, but being in plays where there's people in front of you, that's kind of nerve wracking. Did you know I, what? I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather have people watch me through a screen than in person. <laughs> Dude, actually, it's it's funny that you're telling me about this because because I'm a I'm an actor. I'm a professional actor, um, and there's an a, there's actually a really good acting school in Tennessee where if you go to the school, they pay you to go. They literally pay you like for three years to become an actor. And then you get a degree, you get a, a degree. <laughs> yeah. And then you could like teach it or you can, I mean, it, it, it opens up a ton of doors. It's uh, let me write it down here for you. It's, it's it's in it's in collaboration with the Clarence Brown Theater. Um, absolutely, check that out. If I don't know, if I don't know if that's uh, that's that's all. It's not musical theater based. It's just like straight acting. You know what I mean? That's what they, that's, yeah. that's what we call it in the in the industry. I want to be a TV series actor. TV actor. A TV series, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, film acting is really different. Um, I don't really have much training in film acting, um, but I will soon. Actually, I'm, I'm next in two months. I'm going to be going up to Tallahassee uh, to to do some stuff with the film program up there because I'm I'm doing a kind of similar program to University of Tennessee, but only in Florida. There are like twenty different programs like that around the country that pay you to actually go to their school. It's insane. It's amazing. <laughs> well, I, I was going to move down to Florida. There was a uh, high school where Zach and Cody went to. <sighs> oh, it was an acting. It was an acting high school where Zach and Cody went to. Do you know what city that was in? Hmm. No, I forgot. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Yeah. Okay. I remember that. I was a little old for uh, for that show when it was on, but I would have. <laughs> if I were like five years younger, I would have watched it. Um, interesting. So, like, uh, what are your thoughts of? of everything that's going on these days with like our country and all of this crazy culture and social media and stuff. Like, what do you, what do you, what are your, your thoughts of all of it? Uh, <clears throat> I really think of it. You don't really think of it? No. Is that, because a lot of people talk about it and you don't want to or do you not have interest or yeah why isn't it on your mind you think it's everywhere and i'm sick seeing it <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Because it's all just so, like, tiring, right? Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Huh. Um, well, usually, you know what? I don't even know your name. My name is Kenny. Um, what would you like to go by for the video? Uh... Okay, perfect. People pronounce it wrong, so I have to type it. Oh, really? Chester? Yep. Well, people pronounce it wrong, huh? Oh, interesting. Okay, Chester, that's a cool name. That's a strong name, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So so usually uh, uh, for people on here, I, I ask them these questions that I've written up. There are a lot of them, but... I only ask that you type out three numbers between 1 and 48, and I'll give you the corresponding question. Six. You hear my music? No, no. Yeah, the music you have there is fine. It's a nice kind of background music. Yeah. All right. You ready? Number six. Oh, this is an interesting one. Have you ever seen a dead body in person? No. <laughs> what do you think it's like? Yeah, that's a... So never like a, even a an animal. You've never seen a an animal. An animal, yeah. No, dead body. I rode my bike and I found a dead deer. I had to call the police because I was in a country area, and that was they were the closest. Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever run over a deer? Yeah. Have you ever run into a deer with a car? Uh, I don't drive. You don't drive? Dude, I didn't know how to drive until like, <laughs> until last year. I was 29 years old when I learned how to drive. <laughs> I was very scared of it. I don't know. Are you like, are you scared of driving or? I'm not scared of driving. I'm scared of driving in the dark where there's people's lights are in your window and you can't really see and the sun in your eyes all the time mm -hmm. and crazy people on the road mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's kind of nerve-wracking yeah. i mean i i could get used to it but it's just people are crazy out there <laughs> Did you know how to drive before and then don't drive now, or have you just never chosen to, to do it? I uh, drove a few times until I lost my permit. What happened there? What's what's the story with that? Uh, it just expired. I see. And I have to, and I lost my driving hours. And if I had to go back in there, I have to do it all over again. And I didn't really want to do that. No, totally. Yeah, it's a lot of time. Yeah, totally. I have to redo the signs. I have to redo the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, I already did it once, so I don't want to do it again. <laughs> it's like so many hoops to jump through. Ah, are there any are there any kind of like topics or things that you'd like to, to talk about before we move on to the next question? Uh, no. Okay. All right.
right, number 20. This is a deep one. You ready? Yeah. Define what hatred means for you. Uh, racism. I uh, hate those people who are racist a lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you think that people who are racist, is, is that people, people who come off as racist, that's, that's what it means when you hate a person. It's like, if someone is racist, they are hating that person. Is that what you're saying? I don't hate the person. I hate the language they do speak. Mm. Mm. I see. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that they, that people who are racist, um, like what, 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 for you, like, what does it mean when a person is racist? Like, how can you determine when a person is racist? Uh, when they say the N word a lot, and well, definitely, definitely, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's the like, but not do. Do you come across many people who who say that word? Well, at my school. We only had two black students and one black teacher. And the rest of us were white. And most of those people were mean to those people, including the teacher, were mean. Really? Yes, they were mean to the teacher also. Wow. Oh. I mean, did you hear people say like the n-word about them yeah oh my gosh why 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 like why, why do I, people why do people think that why do people think that way i don't know probably the way they were brought up so could i ask you then how do you think you were brought up differently than them Uh, well, my parents, they were never racist. <clears throat> like, I, I also dared uh, a lot of other races. Hmm. I almost dated a Thai girl. Uh, Interesting. So for, so, so for you, like if, if you are dating someone who, if you're dating someone who is a minority, right, then that does not make you racist. I wouldn't, like if someone was saying horrible things to her in front of me, I would just leave with her <laughs> yeah 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 instead of getting violent or instead of like continuing yeah. on the hatred right like you're saying the, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind kind of thing you know yeah i'm not even that strong too <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh interesting okay okay so uh one the one last question number 11. i haven't asked this question yet of anyone pretty cool do you think that animals have souls yeah why have you seen that video with it of a horse crying on its owner's grave and there was also a video of a dog crying 
on its owner's grave. Mm. Mm. And was also crying over a his uh, friend who died. My 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 feeling of this is I agree with you, you know. I I, I was a, a vegetarian for like nine years. Just recently, have started eating meat again. And um, for you, like, do you think that knowing that animals have souls, like, does that ever make you wonder if you should not eat meat? Or do you? I'm guess I'm assuming that you eat meat, but I could be completely off my mark. There. Yeah, I do eat meat. I just hate how they're treated to make the meat. Like in the olden days, before we had all these machines, all it was was shooting. That's it. And if it's still alive, shoot it again. But now they treat the animals crappy. Yeah. Would you ever try being a vegetarian? Uh, I eat veggies most of the time. I don't eat a lot of meat. The only meats I eat is steaks and burgers and chicken if they, if I have it. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, so you're, yeah, you feel as though you're finding a, a balance. Yeah. Yeah, I've not asked anyone about that yet, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you for for you know being open about this. Are, are there any other before we get going? Um, are there any other kind of questions you'd like to ask me, or last thoughts that you'd like to share? Uh. You should uh. Look at my channel. Absolutely. Type it out so that everyone can come check it out. Spread the wealth. Country Guide 20. <laughs> Love it. So if I just type that into the YouTube thing, it'll it'll pop up. Yeah. Cool. Put that down. I'm gonna check it out right now. Okay. All right, so Chester, it was really it was really nice talking to you, and um, I'm gonna upload the video right now. Uh, so it'll be it'll probably be popping up in like 15 minutes or so. Um, so make sure to subscribe so that you can see it pop up. Okay. Okay. Building bridges. All right, man. Hey, I'll see you around. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Bye. Bye.